power. As we're still in the energy field of the full moon, what I want to invite you to do is really to align your system so we can enter the webinar on activating your power, your potential in a very smooth way. For those who know me, great to connect with you all again. And for anyone new who doesn't know the way I work. So when I say power, I'm not working with the belief systems. I'm working to clear the belief systems, but really to connect to your true essence, which is the state of being. And then to bring that up like a mirror in your system to see what shadow aspects or belief systems are in the way of you being yourself into a state of being, you know, flower is a flower, a tree is a tree, not trying to be anything else, but that the conditioning that's in our sub, in our uh, systems from our genetics, from our ancestors, plus our own and from the collective is preventing us from really being in a state of being in our own power. So I'm going to work with the energy of the full moon and also really to support you to integrate so you can go smoothly into the webinar because in the webinar, I'm going to be open up very, very high frequencies of different codes and activations, which I've been working with over years and activating them in my own system, but I'm going to really activate a lot of them in the webinar later. So I just want to support you to go into that energy field in a very smooth way. So how I work is through quantum entanglement. So I'm not sending you energy or in your system. I'm simply opening up frequencies. And when we connect through the heart as we're all interconnected, then you, your system will start remembering or have the opportunity to bring in frequencies which your parents couldn't give you. So a lot of the times we're waiting for our parents to, to give us something and we can wait all our lives. But if they didn't give it to you, it means that it just wasn't there to give you. It wasn't in their system. So if you can go into a state of compassion with your parents, accepting everything that you're waiting for, and then I'll start bringing in new activations to your system to make it really strong. And I'll go further in the webinar later. But first, I want to support you to integrate so you can really go in a coherent state into the webinar. So I invite you to take a deep breath into your heart space and simply observing yourself, observing the mind if it's active. I invite you not to try and shut the mind away. If it's active, it's active, it's active because there's a core belief system behind it being worked on. So it's all good. And simply be the observer of the mind, the observer of your own system during this, this meditation. So let's open up the heart memory fields by simply taking a deep breath into your heart. And the intention is the key for opening everything. And now let's work with the gut brain. Set the intention to open up the memory fields in the gut brain. Beautiful. And the nervous system, let's work with the nervous system. So I invite you to open up the nervous system by simply bringing in awareness to your nervous system and being conscious that there's programming in there. And let's invite your spirit to really open up whatever's in your system so your spirit can drop deeper into the nervous system because the nervous system keeps us out of ourselves. Reading into the nervous system and opening up the nervous system. Memory feels beautiful. Now let's work with the subconsciousness, opening up the subconsciousness of the brain with intention. Very good. And then open up all the cellular information, which is ready to be transformed. Taking a deep breath into your cells. Great, excellent, excellent. So now I'm going to work with the whole system that's open at the moment to support you to go back into balance. So I invite you simply imagine you're breathing into your cells and through the breath, you're releasing the old information and we'll bring back your soul essence and transform whatever is belong to you back to the origin. So everything that's opening you can go back to the origin. Just keep that intention. And I'm going to work in the background, just opening 
is for transforming or trauma, transforming frozen information, frozen body information, cellular information, shock energy, genetic information in the DNA, and also the subconsciousness of how the, the brain is wired up. I'll also work with the amygdala, the pineal gland, and through the eyes, through the whole system at once, it's even the hearing and the voice. What I love about this work, it just works so deeply in the system and the mind can't capture it. So it's going on a frequency level and working so deeply, it's working much deeper than the mind, even deeper than the control mechanisms. It's working such a deep core. If you imagine you're going back, going to a river and you're going back to actually the first source of that river and we're working from that point and then maybe it is a new decision and then you change the entire river so this is how i work so i go back to the origin of everything and then bring in the blueprint of how it can be what is the greatest version of you how the liver works how the spleen works so also working cellularly within the system and the dna and then the stem cells will do the rest Simply showing your mirroring to your system and activating your system with new frequencies. And I never hold back. Whatever, if you're open to receiving keys, they're there for you. I want the best for you. So this is working through your channel. And we're bringing deeper and deeper and deeper into the nervous system, deeper and deeper into the bones and the body. Deeper into your spine. pelvic floor. I worked so much with my own system. It's pretty easy for my system to show you what's had to transform. I just have worked so deeply into my own system clearing abuse of many different frequencies. So I have the keys within my body level, actually cellular level to share with you and show you how your cells can be by just sharing whatever is right for you. Your system is deciding what's right for you. So you're getting access to years of work, <laughs> lifetimes of work. Very good, very good, a very big shift to, just took place. So you can see and feel. I love working the neck through the spine as well. It's amazing how much information is in the spine. Our whole life is in the spine, the history, even in the roots of the teeth. Hands, the feet, cells. Beautiful, it's shifting even deeper. I can feel the energy of the full moon. I know it was last night, but it's still here, the energy, I feel it.
old path patterns, old belief systems, old yeah, a lot of old belief systems are being created. Shame, guilt, fear, anxieties, fear of change, disaster, environmental disaster also is clearing. Truth is the key for everything. When you see what's really going on, it clears the fears, the anxieties. Even if there's hopelessness in the system, when you see there's a lot going on, it's it starts coming back, it starts coming back. And later in the webinar, later, I'm going to really activate the king, the queen, really your power in the system, which blows apart all the negative belief systems or insecurities. So I just want to build you up so you can go into the field of the webinar in a strong way. That we can go in much higher frequency then. And you will absorb a lot more. And so nice when we come together as a group, just like the leadership group that are there in the community. When you open up a group, core group, come together as leaders and activate their qualities, we activate each other very fast. So there's a webinar on leadership, actually, four webinars we did already. And then we're doing another one on communication. But the first four was really activating very high frequencies of leaders that I've worked with over the years, which will activate your system and build up your system into core strength and power. Beautiful, beautiful. Commitment is really important, and I feel that's breaking down in the field a lot, is that people don't want to commit. Um, and for me, it's crucial to commit to something. If I commit to something, I can get the power. And the, it's like I'm selling a boat, and that's the GPS coordinates of that boat or the car. And then all the energy can be about you know getting to that point. Even if there's changes, I still know where I'm going. That's the commitment course is not straight it just keeps moving and changing and maybe it's a few storms on the way but when i commit then it gives me that guidance system to get to that place so that's for example when i get a get, when spirit gives me an idea or a, a website to do which is related to the field i commit and then all the keys start working on my system for weeks before it so really, I feel commitment is important. And that work is, shows up very deeply when people commit into, for example, into the teaching webinars, the leadership webinar, or, or um, one of the paid webinars. It's like a deep commitment in the system. So there is a difference. Or as I was asking when I was doing classes, traveling around the world, I say, why is there a difference? You know, And it really is about the commitment. It's about the commitment. And you can, you can get the same in this one. Um, but for some reason, the commitment does make a difference in the system. Beautiful. Going deeper.
and then the power can you handle the power so it's like when you build up the system it just becomes natural it's a state of being so that's how we'll be working in the webinar later is bringing up the state of being that it's natural it's normal it's not even a thought anymore it's you it's you you are that vibrational frequency so there's nothing to think about about not being yourself it's you it's a state of being Breathing into your heart space again. Slowly releasing. All the heaviness can be lifted out. Everything we worked on can be closed. And then the soul contracts related to what we worked on can be released. As I go deeper into my own system, inviting your spirit into these new places within you. As your spirit embodies even deeper into the cells, into the nervous system, into the bones, into your spine. Always when I was working, Spirit always told me that we need to balance the directions because your frequency vibration in a physical vessel, and then it's about balancing the directions. I realized that that is the best way to get the most results from when I support people or in the webinars or meditation. So let's balance the directions. So inviting your spirit first into the cells, into the physical vessel, into the brain, into the eyes, hearing, the voice, the core, your spine, your bones. And then let's honor that you're whole. Everything we worked on is complete. And I say releasing the old contracts so your energy field can come deeper. And now let's balance the directions. So your new front, your whole new front supports your whole back. Because you've changed the relationship with front and back. Your new front supports your new back to evolve, to create. Your new back creates and evolves with the new front, supported by the new front. Back supports the front, front supports the back in a brand new way. Because I've totally changed. And I honor that. My new left side creates and supports my new right side. My new left side supports towards my new right side. My whole new left side has a new relationship with the new right side because I've changed vibrationally and frequency and I honor that. My new right side, my whole new right side supports my whole new left side. Honoring the change, beautiful. Above supports below because I've changed completely. Above support below relationship, below supports above in the new way. Aligned in my own channel, my own intuition, my own knowing, my own dignity, my own self-confidence, my own responsibility as a creator, in my own core, my own heart, my own truth. New relationship with inner and outer world, as I've changed, and new relationship with creation from outer to inner world. Reborn, embodied in a new way. 
And I invite you to be curious about how this works in your system and how this plays out today for you. And if you want to go further with this and really take a huge leap, I invite you to take a leap of fate and I'll see you at the webinar on power later on because it's really our time to honor who we are as creators and really step into our power. It's not a time for hiding. It's not a time to be passive. It's a time to be into a state of being, which then disconnects from all the manipulation and all the shadow aspects. So I invite you to be in the webinar power later on. Have a beautiful new day, new connection with you and the world around you because you've changed. Enjoy. Thank you, everyone. Have a beautiful day.